In this video, we will solve this integral right here. So let's begin. So the first step I will do is identify a trig identity. We know that tan squared x is equal to secant squared x minus 1. Next, I will rewrite this equation, incorporating this identity. We could say the integral tan raised to the fourth x times this piece right here, because this piece right here is equivalent to tan squared x. So tan squared x plus tan raised to the fourth x is equal to tan um, x raised to the sixth. So this right here is equivalent. Next, I will expand this equation. So I could say tan raised to the fourth x times secant squared x, this piece right here, minus tan raised to the fourth x times negative one, we would get negative tan raised to the fourth x dx. So next I will separate into two integrals. I could have this as one integral and I could have this as another integral. Next I will do u substitution in order to solve for this integral right here. If I say that u is equal to tan x, then our du becomes secant squared x dx, canceling out this piece right here, where we would have the integral u raised to the fourth du minus the integral right here. Um, I, end, I went ahead and said tan squared x times secant squared x minus one, because tan squared x times this piece right here is tan squared x, which is tan raised to the fourth x. They're equivalent. So now I have this piece right here, the integral u raised to the fourth du. Um, solving the integral of this is pretty simple. I would get u raised to the fifth divided by five minus this piece right here. Next, I would swap the u with tan x because I said u was equal to tan x. So I would get tan raised to the fifth x divided by five minus this piece right here. So next, I need to solve for this integral. So I need to expand, then do substitution, then I need to do separation. So expanding it out, I would get tan squared x times secant squared x this piece right here, minus tan squared x times negative one is minus tan squared x dx. Then I will say that u is equal to tan x and du is equal to secant squared x dx. This right here would cancel out the secant squared x piece right here. And so I would get the integral u squared du minus tan squared x, this piece right here. So the integral of u squared du would be u cubed divided by three minus this piece right here, and next replace u with tan x, so I would get tan cubed x divided by three minus this integral right here. This is just a recap of what we have so far. So we had right here tan raised to the fifth x divided by five, that came from right here, minus uh, this piece right here, tan cubed x divided by three minus the integral tan squared x dx, and uh, this minus right here came from right here, this minus. So next, I will expand out the negative. So I would get tan raised to the fifth x divided by five minus tan cubed x divided by three minus minus plus the integral tan squared x dx. So now we need to do one more integral. We know that the integral tan squared x dx is equal to the integral secant squared x minus one dx because we know that tan squared x is equal to secant squared x minus one. Next. I will take the integral of this piece right here. The integral of secant squared x is simply gonna be tan x plus c. This is an identity. And lastly, the integral of negative one would give us negative x. So the integral of tan squared x dx is equal to tan x minus x plus c. So now let's combine everything. So this is what we had previously, and this is what we had when we get the integral of tan squared x dx. So now let's simply combine. So the integral of tan x raised to the six is equal to this piece minus this piece plus this piece. So we would get tan raised to the fifth x divided by five minus tan cubed x divided by three plus tan x minus x plus c. This right here is our final answer and that's all we need to do for this problem.